Let's look over the Esri Maps for Public Policy site together. There's just four tabs across the top of it. On the home page here, you'll find the definition of what a policy map is. We define it as a map that clearly shows where there are opportunities to intervene. We show a few examples mid-page, and then towards the bottom, there's a number of questions available. Each question is answered by a collection of maps on that topic. So for example, if I go to where are the public health concerns in my community, a great way for you to start using the policy map site is simply enter your city or town right here. It'll open up on the second tab. The explore tab is where live web maps are available on a variety of topics. In this case, a collection of eight maps specific to the topic of public health. Now here I've chosen to look at Houston, Texas. And this collection, should I copy and paste this or email it or put it out over social media, anyone who clicks on that link will go directly to this collection and they'll look at exactly the map I was just viewing. That's pretty nice. Within this Explore tab are actually hundreds of available web maps on a variety of topics organized by category and subcategory and available within just one click for you to view and decide do I want to include this in my collection if you do want to include it hit collect and you can now share it you can also click on the name of the map to open up the source and take a look at the information behind this in this case a map that uses the Census American Community Survey. Under Issues, you'll find apps, dashboards, story maps, and more, again, across these same categories and subcategories. Under the Resources tab, you'll read about how policy maps fit into initiatives and projects. You'll find useful places to get started in your own policy maps work, even in just five minutes. And when you have more time, the learn lessons are here that go into more detail on how exactly do you go about changing a map of data into a policy map. Whether you do the work yourself or direct others to use and make these policy maps, the resources and examples you'll find here will certainly help.